Hello, citizen of the world. Welcome to the channel. You are one step closer to become a front-end expert with this video. All right. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a React Native project with Tailwind CSS. And in React Native world, Tailwind CSS is used a library via Nativewind. And uh, let's first create our project, Excel project, for, uh, in our desktop. Let's see it into desktop. Sorry. And this is the script that we're going to use for creating the Expo app. Let's run. And the reason for we have the template flag here is because I want to create a blank TypeScript application. Let's create a black blank TypeScript app. Let's call it Tailwind app. And once this whole thing installed, I'll be right back. So we have our project opened up in VS Code. So let's go into terminal and we we need to install a library called NativeWind. As I said before, let's install that. And I have an extension installed for Tailwind class names. It's Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. I will highly recommend you to install this so that once you start to use Tailwind, it can suggest you the class names that you you can use which is very helpful so in order to be able to let's just first run the app actually so here as you can see we have our bear expo app and if we remove this one from here you can see that our styling is gone now if you try to use class name it's not going to be suggesting you because the typescript doesn't know that this app you know contains a tailwind config so in order to fix this problem you need to have this native wind typing reference you can uh, create this native wind.t.ts file and uh, write this down and once you do that the class name will be starting to suggest it by by vs code and even though we have suggestion here uh, you can't directly actually uh, manipulate and do the changes you need to do one more configuration which is adding one plugin section to this uh, babel config file so let's do plugin uh plugins it's gonna be taking an array so we have we need to write this native wind slash babel and after this is written down in the babel config file we need to have this tailwind config js file you need to do npm install dash dash say dev and tailwind css at this version this is the version that is compatible with react native right now maybe in the future that might be changed so if you are watching this for example in 2025 uh you need to make sure that the version is still valid so let's run the app once again okay now this is working fine so let's summarize what we have done so far we installed tailwind css as dependency dev dependency with version 3.3.2 we installed native win native wind with uh, mpx expo installed so we have tailwind config js file here and we have this type script file in order to work with class name prop in react native components so you can replace your style sheet objects with this let's make this flex one item center justify center and if you try to apply a text size like you have you can do in a uh, web this is not going to be applied so you need to apply text stylings directly to the text element in order to this to work all right this is tailwind css with uh, expo and i'll see you guys in the next one